Social mobility is the idea that it doesn't matter where you come from, you should have the same chances. For example, the same chance to go on to higher education, even if your parents did not. The role of parents' education on children's outcomes has previously been thought of as environmental. However, cutting-edge DNA research from King's College London suggests it may be in your genes. So to test for the role of genetics, we use two methods. One, the twin design, which compares identical twins and non-identical twins to infer genetic influence. And the second was a new approach using DNA alone called genome-wide polygenic scores. And here we sum up genetic variants that each of us have to create a score for each individual within our mobility group. To look at the genetic influence on social mobility, they created four social mobility groups. They classed families where both parent and child attended higher education as stably educated. Families where neither parent or child attended higher education were classed as stably uneducated. Families where parents did not go on to higher education, but children did, were upwardly mobile. And families where parents went on to higher education, but children did not, were downwardly mobile. Well, with the first method, the twin design, we found that genetics plays a substantial role in social mobility, accounting for up to 50% of differences in whether families are socially mobile or not. With the second approach, genome-wide polygenic scores, we found that these scores differed between our mobility groups, with the highest score in those families who were stably educated, the lowest scores in those families who were stably uneducated, and scores falling in the middle for our downwardly mobile and upwardly mobile families. Well, I think there's two key implications of our findings. The first is that associations between parents and their offspring in educational attainment exist for genetic, not just environmental reasons. The second implication is that if we want to reduce inequalities in educational attainments, it's important to understand children's genetic propensity for educational outcomes, and that way we can identify people who perhaps would benefit from more educational support.